reset your mindset. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how a simple belief that you have could completely change your life. More of that in a moment. If you're the sort of person who struggles to really believe in yourself and believe that you have capabilities far beyond anything you've done before, if you have goals, dreams, and ambitions, then this video is for you. So let's get stuck in. Let's talk about resetting your mindset. If you wanna change your life or do anything differently, the first thing to really do is to stop. Just stop, even for a moment, to stop and pause and look at life with a fresh pair of eyes. Look, ultimately, we know that human beings we don't tend to change when we're told what to do. We tend to change when our perspective changes. And that's what I want to share with you today about your mindset. For me, mindset is everything. Your mindset really is what you're doing with your mind, where your focus of your attention is. There's been some amazing work done in the field of a psychology. And one particular lady who's a professor and a researcher out of Stanford, her name is Carol Dweck, and she's written a book called Mindset. And she really talks about this one belief that we can have that can hugely shape our life. In fact, it can permeate pretty much every single thing that we do. And the belief is you either believe that you are fixed or you believe in possibility. You believe that you have capabilities and potential. You believe that the hand that you've been dealt and being born is just the starting point. And it's fascinating, this belief, because when you look at what makes a great human being, we know great human beings, human beings that achieve many things, they're the ones who really believe in themselves. Look, I've written 20 books, I've spoken all over the world, human behavior and performance, I've worked with some of the greatest athletes that have ever walked the face of this earth. And I can tell you, it all comes down to the belief they have in themselves. And there was one particular psychologist called Albert Bandura, and his work focused on something that is known as self-efficacy. And all self-efficacy is, it is your self-belief, whether you believe you have capabilities or whether you believe that you're fixed. So this is what I want you to start thinking about. Two different worlds, the world of the fixed mindset and the world of the growth mindset. This is what Carol Dweck talks about in her work. But I really want to give you a flavor of these two different worlds. Let's start off with the fixed mindset. The fixed mindset really is where you are feeling that you're not quite good enough and you're constantly trying to prove yourself. You believe your intelligence, your personality is set and there's nothing you can do about it. People who move through the world with a fixed mindset really tend to get stuck and they tend to live life with way too much fear and anxiety because they think they're going to be found out. Now, I lived in the world of a fixed mindset for so many years. Why? Well, I didn't feel particularly good about myself. I didn't think I was good enough. I didn't think I had what it took. I was constantly trying to prove myself. At school, where many of us measure ourselves based on what other people are doing, I always came up short. So I was constantly living my life on guard, constantly trying to get people to like me and accept me and validate me. Now, I wonder if that is something that you relate to, because when we think about the world and all the people around the world right now, how many of those people do you think have a fixed mindset, that they just think that there's something not quite right with them? But it's fascinating when things start to change, and things started to change for me when I looked at the world in a different way, when I started to realize that who I was was only really the starting point, that I could grow and I could evolve. And if you stopped again, right here, right now, and you look back in your life, you would realize that you are not who you were. So even when you have a fixed mindset, you'll probably realize just how much you've changed, but you've changed with a fixed mindset. You've changed probably just by reacting to what has been going on in the world. Daniel Gilbert, a professor out of Harvard, one of the things that he talks about is 
human beings massively underestimate what they've achieved. If you look back in your life, like I just said, and you thought about everything that you've done to get to this point, all the things you've achieved, all the things that you've done, look, you might not be where you wanna be, but look where you've got to. And he says, even when people wake up to the fact of all the things that they've done, they massively underestimate what they're going to do. Why is that? Well, it's because they have a fixed mindset. And I challenge you, to develop the most incredible thing that you can develop, which is how you use your mind, to be open to the world of the growth mindset. With the growth mindset, you know that with diligent, patient practice, you can achieve anything. You know that the only reason that you're on this earth is to get better to grow, to learn, to advance. When we look at human beings and how fundamentally different we are to how we were millions of years ago, well, it really does revolve around the fact that we've evolved, but we've evolved to just survive. And when you have that fixed mindset, that's all you're trying to do. So do you have goals, dreams, and ambitions? Are you ready to grow? Are you ready to reset your mindset and set your mindset on your future self. We made a video, and we'll put a link to it uh, on the end of this video, where you see meeting my future self. And I really encourage you to think about the fact that you have a future self. In fact, think of me like a lawyer that has come from your future self. Your future self is more courageous than you, is better than you, has achieved more, more courageous. And I've come from your future self to say, set your mind on your future self because that is where the magic is. That is where the power is. Look, I'm gonna ask you two questions. The first question is this. What's the greatest thing that you've ever done? Is it possible that the greatest thing you've ever done is to become the person you are today? Like I say, you might not be where you wanna be, but you've survived. You've got to this point. Is there room for improvement? Are there areas of your life that you want to advance on. We call those areas the big three. Are you where you wanna be with your health and your energy? Yes or no? Are you where you wanna be with your relationships with others and yourself? Are you where you wanna be with your wealth and your work and your service? Probably not. Is there room for improvement? See, that's where it comes to the next question, which is what will be the greatest thing you ever do? Is it possible that the greatest thing you will ever do will be the person that you become, to grow into that person? And we know, and we talk about it a lot in these videos, that anything that grows goes up against resistance. You look at anything outside that is growing, it's the heat, it's the cold, whatever it is, it's the water, something that is challenging its growth. What's challenging your growth is your fixed mindset. What I've realized about the mind, it is the most powerful tool. Mindset is everything. It's what you do with it, just like life. So are you ready to enter into the world of the growth mindset? Are you ready to really explore the capabilities and the potential that you have? Ernest Hemingway once said that true nobility isn't trying to be superior to anybody else. True nobility is being superior to your former self. Now you are not who you were. You were more than who you were, but are you ready to set your mind on your future self? Watch that video right now where you see me on a phone, eating chocolate, falling asleep, to then actually get a phone call from my future self, who is now talking to me every single day. That's who I'm guided by, and that's who I want you to be guided by. By the greatest thing you will ever do is by becoming your future self. It's time for you to meet your future self. Watch the video, not now, but right now.